Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some Donkey Kong Country. We're just gonna do a one-player game. Two-player game is where, um, player one controls Donkey and player two controls Diddy. And the only difference between team and contest is that in contests, you compete to see who completes the most levels. But anyways, we're just gonna do one player. So, here's our world map. We can't actually go to that first face. That's just where he starts out, right as his house there. But our first world is Congo Jungle. And our first level here is Jungle Hijinks. So here we go, getting knocked out of our house. And what's this? Our banana horde is gone! Oh no! I didn't actually mean to go in there quite yet, but... Yeah, this... Yeah, this is the story of the game. Donkey Kong's banana horde was taken, and we gotta go get it back. We just went back in our house, we got a life, because that's what those red balloons are. Got a picture of Candy Kong back there, we'll see her later. There is a fish swimming in that picture somehow. Maybe that's not a picture, maybe that's a window. It's a bit strange, it looks like a picture. Maybe it's one of those like weird Harry Potter pictures. Anyways, in these DK barrels here, we can get our little monkey friend, Diddy Kong. But let's actually climb across the trees. We are monkeys after all. There's some bananas here and an arrow pointing down. So we drop down, and if we land on that mark we saw earlier, a metal barrel came out of it. Now, metal barrels will just roll straight through enemies. And this one's going pretty far away. Um, yeah, it's gone. Oh! These big guys, you can defeat by jumping on them if you're Donkey Kong. If you're Diddy Kong, you have to roll into them. I'm pretty sure there's like a whole bunch of lives you can get if you climb over the top of these trees, but we're down here now. This star barrel is a checkpoint. So let's get Donkey Kong back now. You can switch which Kong you're playing as with the select button. Here is a move that despite the fact that I grew up with this game, I did not know existed. You can pound the ground with your hands. There, we just got an espresso token. I'll explain that later. So how does this pounding move actually even work? I guess it just hurts whatever's next to you, which is exactly what it does in Smash Bros, so I'm really not surprised. This little guy here, or this big guy rather, is our rhino friend, Rambi. He will just ram anything that's in front of him with his horn. And you can use him or some barrels to break through certain walls to get into these little bonus areas. In order to get this game 100%, or rather 101%, because this game feels like being different, you need to find every bonus area every bonus in the game and we just found a second one now in this one let's see what we get espresso match three of, this, of an icon and you get the prize now we've got two espresso tokens so far if we get a third one, we will be able to play an Expresso minigame. Expresso is another one of the Kong's animal friends, like Rambi here. 
Oh, there's not anything down that pit, is there? There'd better not be, because I'm not going to check it. And it turned to night as we were walking. Okay, now, you can tell that we got everything in that level because there's an exclamation mark next to the name of the level now. So yeah, that's how you tell that you've gone to every bonus area in a level. So next up is Ropey Rampage. It's a dark and stormy night here in the Congo jungle. But that's not going to stop us. Oh, I think we just collected a hundred... Hold on here, this is a TNT barrel. It won't hurt you, but it'll hurt enemies. But yeah, I think we collected a hundred bananas. Yes, we did. When you collect a hundred bananas, that gets you a life. Now, I can't... I'm not sure if I remember where all the secrets are in this game. We got a Rambi token now. But yeah, I'm not sure if I remember where all the secrets are. I might, but if I miss any, we're going to go back for them. Because this is going to be an 100% run. I'm really suspicious of this wall, but it's probably nothing. Or maybe that's what the TNT barrel was for. Where was the TNT barrel? I mean, it's gone now, but was could I have gotten it there? You know what? These are short levels. If I have to replay it to break whatever's there, assuming that there's something there, then so be it. There's a TNT barrel here, but we can't carry that back where we came from. There doesn't seem to be any secret areas around here, but I know there's at least one in this level, because otherwise the level name should have had an exclamation mark. Oh! Yeah, I should have jumped a little further to find out whatever was in that thing. Maybe I can still do it. There we go. There's a little bouncy tire we can roll around. Not sure what we want to do with it. We got a winky token in that hole. Seriously, what do we want to do with this thing? Whoa! I accidentally slipped off the edge. And I'm kind of sad that we got the checkpoint, because... We definitely missed something, because... Yeah, there was something down there. But I'll look into that when we replay the level, which I'm sure we're going to have to do, because... We missed stuff, and we can't go backwards where these swinging ropes are. So that's a bit unfortunate. Hold on a second. There's a barrel here that leads to a little bonus area. Now we want to watch where this life is. Uh, it was one of the left two. No, I picked poorly. Thankfully, you don't have to win the game in the bonus rooms in order to get the in order to get the percent, but it would have been nice to get that life. Yeah, you also get a life every time you collect the Kong letters, K O N G. And like I said, we missed something. So let's head back. It's too bad I'm already missing stuff on the second level. Okay, we cannot take this TNT barrel up to where I had suspicions of there being something. 
we can, however, take this DK barrel there. But it doesn't look like there's anything there. Whoa! I knocked some bananas out of the ground. I know we've got to look out for something below us. Yeah, if you roll off a ledge, you do get a chance to jump while in midair then. There we go. I'm not sure how you were supposed to know to go down that right between those trees there, but... Hey, that's what you gotta do. And there's another place where you can collect the end, just in case you missed it before, because... Well, taking that little pathway causes you to miss the other end. And we don't need to play that other minigame again. It'd be nice to get the life, but we don't need to! Not sure if we got the life from those Kong letters, I don't think we did. But we got everything in Ropey Rampage now. I usually prefer to play as Diddy over Donkey, just because Diddy has better movement. But Donkey is better in certain situations when you're against a bunch of big enemies. Cranky's Cabin, I ain't got nothing left, so don't even ask. They can't keep this level of graphics up for much longer. Oh yeah. Look where we are now. We used to be lucky if we got three shades of gray, let alone any real colors. We used to have to survive with a two-frame walk. Sometimes our sprites used to change size for no apparent reason. We never had any of this fancy 3D stuff. Oh no, we had to survive on what we had. And what little we did have, we were happy with. The crafty Croctopus corners his crack of collectibles in coral capers. Rambi the Rhino can help you, but he'll want to charge for it. Come back and see me sometime. I'll be here. So yeah, Cranky Kong is actually the Donkey Kong from the original Donkey Kong trilogy in the arcades and on the NES. And when you talk to him, he just kind of rants about old stuff and how new things are. And if you listen to him for long enough, he'll give you hints on, level, on the various levels in these areas. Also, you might be... Well, first of all, let's go into Reptile Rumble before I keep talking. We got some slippers here, those snake guys. But yeah, you might be wondering what he was talking about 3D graphics when this game is clearly 2D. Well, actually, the company that made this game, Rareware, they actually got a 3D program. Oh, by the way, secret area here. But yeah, they actually got a 3D program and made models of their, the characters and other stuff in this game in 3D but the Super Nintendo couldn't handle 3D so they used another program to turn 3D images into sprites which is why the graphics in this game look so good for Super Nintendo. I don't think we can break into anywhere with this but this barrel goes to a bonus area. So yeah, that's just some history behind Donkey Kong Country. We got some Zeners here. They can be a bit nasty, so watch out for them. Don't get stung. The yellow ones can be defeated normally, those red ones cannot.
And there's another secret area. Whoop-dee-doo. Also, you can't actually die in a secret area. If you get attacked by an enemy or fall into a pit, it just has you leave the secret area. I really should call them bonus rooms, because that's really what they're called. And we got an unguard token. Yeah, when you see the sign with the arrow, that means you're getting close to the end of the level. And there we go. We got everything in Reptile Rumble, and we even went to a second part of this world's map. So yeah, that's all the time we have for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will explore the second half of this map. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.